so uh, in today's lecture what we'll see how we can just use the correlations in pandas okay so initially what correlation is it is something like a relation uh, from one row to another or one column to another column okay so it is a method which is like used in every second thing or every second thing in data analysis training you will see okay so it will just show us the relationship between each columns in our data set so what will be our first thing so what we'll do from pandas yeah from pandas okay we can say import pandas as pd okay so we have imported pandas so again df is equals to pd dot read underscore csv i have a csv file known as data dot csv okay and first of all i will look what type of data i have in that so when i run it i can see there are 169 rows and four columns okay so we have data like duration pulse maximum pulse and calories okay so initially what we'll do we'll just see the correlation between them we can just let it be like this and we have imported it we have our file so we can say first of all we will make the correlation okay so df dot c o r r is the keyword for making a correlation okay and uh, if i directly run it so here you can say it has created a 4 by 4 matrix okay so if you can see the 4 by 4 matrix so here using a certain formula it is calculating the correlation between each and every column okay so here duration and duration so like it is obvious that the correlation between the same row or we can say the correlation is best when we are comparing with itself or ourselves only okay but when we are comparing with this duration with the pulse uh, it came out to be a correlation of minus 0.155 so this we can say this is the correlation and we can notice that when a particular column has correlation with itself so it is coming out to be one okay so what we say that one if we are getting a correlation as one so it is the best correlation possible okay so these are the result how it is showing us what we can say the one to one relationship between each columns okay so yes this is what the correlation is all about so correlation if we can say 0.9 like a co uh, correlation varies from minus 1 to 1 okay so the values we are getting in the correlation will be vary from minus 1 to 1 only okay so if the value of correlation is 1 so it is considered as a good correlation okay so we have total three type of correlations 1 2 3 okay first one is perfect perfect correlation okay so the value for this will be always 1.0000 and so on okay another one we have good correlation okay so this one varies from like it can be something like 0.9 not perfectly one but yeah close to it okay 0.9 and something value here okay so this is the good correlation we have or it can also be something like minus 0.9 something okay so this is a example of a good correlation and the last one is bad co relation 
so it will be like something like 0 0.00 something something so yeah this can be considered as a bad correlation okay so now where we are going to use them okay what is the need for using the correlation and all okay so what we'll do initially we have our data set here okay now what we are going to do according to this correlation according to this correlation we are going to plot some graphs okay so as we have seen in our matplotlib lectures that first of all for like plotting a graph we need the matplotlib library okay so we will import it import matplotlib.pyplot as pl Okay, matplotlib.pyplot. We know that we have a, a library known as matplotlib, and there is a sub function of matplotlib which is a pyplot which used to make the graph or which use us or which we can use to make the graphs. Okay, so pandas also have its inbuilt dot plot function, or we can say pandas also have its plot function. So, what we'll do we'll use that function also and basically what that function is using it is only fetching data from this matplotlib libraries only okay so that plot function is taking the same data as that one from the matplotlib so i'll run it so my model will be imported okay i have run the correlation and now i'm going to start plotting the data okay i have just what we have i have my data so first of all i'll say plot okay and then plt dot show and if i run it you can see it we are using the plot function for our regular pandas library and uh, for showing the graph or for the visually showing the graph we are using the function plt dot show which we earlier used in our matplotlib library okay so this is a basic graph between each and every column we can say okay so this one like the blue one is between duration to duration duration to everything this yellow one is for pulse this green for is max plus pulse and this red one is for calories okay so this is how we can plot the graph between two or we can say between the correlations or we can say between each and everything we are plotting a graph here okay now we can just use something like the inbuilt what we can say methods or the arguments for plotting different types of graphs for us okay like if i say df dot plot it is plotting the data okay so df dot plot and we'll just refer kind so which kind of you know, graph we want so i guess i say sca double t e r i want a scatter graph or we can say a scatter plot which is having a x axis of uh, what we can say duration and y axis as my calories so we are just making a scatter plot between duration and calories and we'll say plt dot show so it will make a scatter plot between duration and calories okay so if you can see this is the graph between duration and calories and if we see the correlation between duration and calories so it is a good correlation because it lies in a range of 0 0.9 okay so it is a good correlation so what does it mean for having a good correlation so if i say that they are having a good correlation which directly means ke both are directly proportional to each other which simply means if duration is increasing then calories will increase and if duration will decrease the calories will decrease so that is the direct proportionality between both if the correlation is good okay and if the correlation is perfect then it will always be a we can say a straight line graph and for the bad correlations uh, what it means 
if there is a bad correlation between anything like here uh, where we can say see the max pulse and duration the correlation between max pulse and duration is something like 0.0094 okay so we can say it comes under a bad correlation which directly means that they are inversely proportional or they are not proportional at all which means that it doesn't mean if duration increases max pulse will increase and it doesn't mean that if max pulse will increase so it the duration will increase or decrease okay so they are independent of each other we can say something like that okay so we have just plot a scatter graph okay with our x axis and y axis so here we can say there is a x axis having calories and uh, okay uh, y axis having calories and x axis having our duration okay now another thing or we can say we can just plot graphs between like anything we want so we are having a plot suppose kind is same scatter okay now i am just going to change my x axis and y axis suppose i want d o r k t n duration and y axis will be uh, this time not my calories this time my y axis will be pulse okay pulse and if i say plt dot show okay so here we can see we have a graph between my uh, duration and pulse okay so if we say or if we see the relationship between duration and pulse so it is about 0 minus 0.1 okay so we can say it is a good relationship and uh, here if we can see from the graph Uh, at some point of time or at some duration the pulse increases and some duration the pulse decreases so yeah this is how we are going to plot a scatter graph between them okay now next we can like say we can make a histogram also okay so df dot plot again just we need to change uh, the name the kind so we will say hist which uh, is for histogram okay and we will say hist uh, in dot plot and if we know that we can make a histogram for a single column of our data frame so i said uh, df duration like take my duration column and plot a histogram for it and if i say plt dot show this plt dot show will show this pictureized image okay if i will not write plt dot show this image will not come if i run this so we can say we are having a histogram for our duration okay so this is how we can make a histogram in it and uh, what we can say now if i want to make bar graphs so just i need to change that i just change it to bar and we can print it okay so i guess the correlation and how we can plot a graph is clear to all okay now this is how we are going to plot our graphs here okay so we can what we can check see we can start from here only that what is it's doing the code is doing it is importing pandas as pd numpy as np and we are assigning a variable ts and we are saying pd dot series now we know that what series means so series are just the columns okay so series are the columns and we are saying np dot random rand n which is just taking a random number in like in the range of 1000 okay and we are specifying the index which is pd dot date range okay so what we are what it is doing that it is just setting a range for the date which is from 11 2000 and the periods will be 1000 okay so i guess it will be just increasing it by 1000 and if we are just using that ts dot 
कमसम सो वॉट दिस कमसम इज डूइंग द कमसम इज मेकिंग दिस टाइप ऑफ ग्राफ फॉर अस एंड इफ यू से टी एस डॉट प्लॉट इट विल गोइंग टू प्रिंट दिस टाइप ऑफ ग्राफ फॉर अस ओके दिस इज हाउ वी आर जस्ट क्रिएटिंग द ग्राफ हियर वॉट वी आर डूइंग वी आर जस्ट इम्पोर्टिंग समथिंग वी हैव जस्ट इम्पोर्टेड पांडाज एंड नंपाई now we are just changing this pd into data frames okay now we are not changing into series now we are changing it to data frames okay taking a random integer okay 100 but now we have this four also which can be seen that we have something like four columns or we can say we have four yeah we can say four columns okay so index ts dot index so it will just grab the index for us okay columns and we are just passing a list of a b c d to it now again df dot comsum which is for this graph and ts dot play um, plot so it is just plotting this graph okay we can just uh, specify the change or uh, specify the kind to just bar we can just see here uh, here we can see it So we are making a data frame okay uh, same case uh, like uh, we need something like 10 integers and what we are taking we are taking four columns and the name of our columns will be a b c d and we will be going to plot dot bar we are just going to call the bar function which is under pandas plot or we can say which is under pandas plot function we are calling the bar method and what it will be printing it will be printing 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 okay because we have taken here as 10 so for 10 10 will not be considered we will be uh, taking till 9 from 0 and each of this having this four columns okay we can see 1 2 3 4 so each of them having four columns okay so this is for a bar graph and if we want our bar graph to be horizontal we will use bar h okay for our horizontal bar graph now if i want to print something like that like in a stack position uh, one of one over the other so i can use uh, argument as stacked equal to true which is just uh, we have something like this we have this four Uh, bars here so it is just converting those bars into a stack okay and this same goes for bar h which is a bar graph for in a horizontal way okay so yes this is how we can just print the graphs using the plot function or we can say the default plot function of mat uh, of pandas which is just deriving its capabilities from the matplotlib library okay i hope you understand this that what we are having here okay